Good afternoon. This is Tammy with Flippin' Furniture. Um, yeah. I am going to make over this wooden letter today. I got these from Hobby Lobby years ago. And I have happened to have some left, so. Um, sometimes they don't come sanded the best, so I'm just kind of getting off anything rough with just a little piece of sandpaper. And yes, my hands are filthy. Um, I have been staining, and I don't typically wear gloves, so my hands are a mess. Okay. I think I got the roughness off. Let's wipe off the table a little bit. Yep, I'm going right on the floor with it. Okay, and now I'm gonna paint it. Even though we're going to decoupage it, it will look better if we paint it first. It will make the, uh, and this is the paper I'm gonna use. This is the decoupage paper. So, it's got the beautiful pink roses, kind of a sage green background. It's got some little bitty newspaper print underneath there. It's got some script. If you look really close, you can see all those things in it. So many layers. But first, let's paint. And then we'll dry it with my um, little heat gun. And obviously my paintbrush isn't going to fit in there, so I'm just going to, yeah, just pour it right out there. Hey, Marilyn. Dang it, I've got the iPad on trying to catch comments. Hey, Sandy, you made it. I am just painting this big M and going to decoupage it. Just in case you're wondering or you just got in here. Nothing too fancy. It shouldn't take too long. It'll, it'll take a little bit though, actually, by the time I get it all painted and dried and then we Mod Podge it on, it's going to take a little bit. Hey, Lisa, you're on at the beginning? Roxanne, hello, it is Brooke. Brooke by Fusion. Um, and I cannot seem to figure, <laughs> anyway, it's Brooke, B-R-O-O-K. <laughs> Happy Friday to you, Lisa. What's everybody doing this weekend? I got a BFF coming over tonight. I don't know if we're gonna work or get in the pool, but it may be both. Hey, Jolene. So I should be having a fun evening either way. Okay, getting these ends covered. Or edges, I should say. Hey, Joy. I just barely saw your name flash across there. Okay. Go, moving right along here. All right. So, what's everybody doing? Hey, Jamie. Some of my society girls are here. Speaking of, if anyone's interested, the doors are open now to my private group. If you got any questions about it, just let me know, but they will be closing August 8th, and I'm not going to open again for new members until late fall, I think. So <clears throat> now would be a great time because once we reopen, the price is going to be a smidge higher. There's so much, hey Debbie, so much, um, uh, what do I wanna say? So many projects in there. So it's, it's time to up the price a little bit because there's just so much value in there. Hey Melanie, <laughs> I thought I saw you back on here. Seems like it was yesterday, maybe. Hey, Beth, haven't seen you in a hot minute either. 
Everybody's just coming out of the woodwork today. Hey, Dawn. Woohoo, it's a party. Oh, there's Courtney. I didn't even think. Courtney put on a link for the paint if anyone is looking for it. This is Brooke. I actually didn't even look to see if I have any. So, I don't know if I have how much I have on stock, if I have testers, or if I have pints, or I did not even think about it. Oh, Beth, you've been in Facebook prison. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you're out. <laughs> hey, Verla. There's another one of my society girls. Oh, back to that, if anybody's curious. We do meet every Tuesday night. There's several of my girls on here. And I call them my girls. I hope they don't mind that. But that's how I think of them, I guess. But I feel like a mother hen. You're going to use Brooke on your jewelry box. Awesome. I need to get out another one. Uh, jewelry box. Hey, Kelly. There's another one. Um, our current challenge in there is um, on doing a jewelry box. It's not a big challenge or anything. They've got a couple weeks to complete it. And then uh, we'll draw a random name out of who all competes or who all turns in a picture. And then they win something. It's usually a furniture transfer. So it's pretty fun. <coughs> hey, Glenda. And we meet every Tuesday night. We do furniture related things. I've actually been in there a lot this week, more than normal even, um, working on that jewelry box because obviously we didn't get it all done Tuesday night. And I could have saved it for class next week, but it was so fun, I couldn't stop, so. That's kind of part of the reason I haven't been on here much this week is I've been in there a lot. You're not out of jail yet. They just don't see me. Oh, my gosh. I don't even understand how. Yeah, I have no idea what that means, Beth. But I hope you are released soon and lay low so that you stay out of trouble. <laughs> And our little group is gonna have its first meetup um, the end of August. I've got, I think five, at least five girls coming to my house for a weekend. And we're gonna craft and we're gonna go thrifting and junking together and hang out. And if the weather's right, we might get in the pool at night with some adult beverages. We'll just see how it goes. Just never know, but I am so looking forward to that. So that's another thing keeping me busy is trying to get my house cleaned up to, to have company. <sighs> but it feels good getting some things done that needed done for a long time. So it's all good. Okay, we've got her all painted. That is Brooke. I'm just gonna put this in foil for now. Obviously it won't fit in my pot. And that way it'll be good until I can get it inside to water. Okay, let me close this up. That's my little, the little sample pots. They're so cute. Okay, let's dry this sucker. Let's lay this out. Actually, gotta figure out which is the front side here. I think that's the back side. No? I can read it, so that's the way it goes. Okay, I'm just talking myself through it. Okay, I really need a bigger area to work here, or less crap. <laughs> and I don't do well with less crap, so this is what I'm stuck with. Okay. Yeah, Verla, isn't it pretty? And this is the um, thicker stuff. This is like um, a dryer sheet, basically. It's thicker, it's not crunchy paper. It's not, you know, you're not, oop, I did tear it. You can tear it, but not, not like paper. Okay, yeah, my ink pen was what I was looking for, but yes, I love this, which I love pink and green together. Sorry, I'm having to wet my whistle. Okay, I'm just gonna <clears throat> trace it. 
right off the table here. Yes, it came to my attention yesterday that I have not been live all week. <laughs> so, here I am. They were checking on me to make sure I was okay. Oh, good, Beth. I'm glad you love it. I love it, too. How do I order that? Verla, it is, oh, actually, oh, Courtney just put it on. It should be right below your post. It's called Olivia. And like I said, this is the tissue paper feel, or not tissue paper, um, dryer sheet feel. And like I always say, it's not, um, what do I say? It's not completely fail proof, but pretty dang close. You don't have the wrinkles that you have to fight with regular decoupage paper. And I always have people ask me, how do you know which paper to use? It's like, well, to me, there's no right or wrong. Oops, I didn't get that hump. My lovely lady lump. Okay, let me get that on there to make sure. I was going to wing it, but I better not. <laughs> but um, I don't have a real reason of how I decide what I'm doing other than what I like. Oh, you have this in one of your stair treads. I forgot about your steps. Those... That's one more project I would love to get done before my girls come see me. But I don't have a clear vision on what I wanna do yet either, so it's probably not gonna happen. And I have to find some carpet treads. Does anybody know where to find some good carpet treads? I just want some little crap. These scissors are not gonna cut it. Um, let me see if I can find another pair of scissors here. <coughs> I just want like those little ones that just sit on the top of the steps. But I don't know, and I have spent a lot of time looking on the interwebs a while back. Okay, so I'm cutting this out now. Hey Kathy, I am 12 stairs a half an hour, wow. Um, I am going to decoupage this uh, paper onto the M that is laying below it. And as you can tell, hopefully, I cut in a little bit, like an eighth of an inch or so or more from where I traced it. Doggone it. I did not get the top of that M either. Well, what in the world was I doing? Probably, maybe that's where I started and the ink hadn't came in yet. But yeah, my stairs, oh, we had somebody carpet them years ago. And <laughs> I don't know, how do I say this nicely? I mean, I could have done it. <laughs> I mean, it is not, I mean, and it was too short and they pieced in a little piece. It's like, we paid somebody to do that. I could have done that. But that's been probably 20 some years ago now. And I've been talking about redoing it for years. But, I don't know, I haven't, I just don't know what exactly what I want to do. And I might, I may, I, you, I wanted to um, oh, uh, stencil on the fronts of the steps was what I had planned on doing. But I may mod pod yet, I just don't know. It'll just depend on what sparks my mem sparks my fancy at the time I get ready to do it. I actually had wanted to print off the lyrics to uh, my husband and I's song and have that on the, you know, stencil all that on the fronts. It's like, oh, that's going to be a lot of work. I'll have to make that stencil and ugh, that just didn't sound like that much fun. <laughs> sound like a great idea, but then to actually follow through with it seemed like a lot of work. And yeah, now I'm leaning more towards decoupage for the fronts. <clears throat> but I don't know, I, I'm neutral colors, so. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I would love to get that done because I hate that carpet tread stuff. Or Right now it's a runner that is just stapled on and it looks so dorky. But anyway, sorry if I'm missing your questions or anything. I'm trying to cut this and not look completely janky. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here so I can get this piece out of my way and save it for another project. <clears throat> oh, you know, I do have a back staircase too. I could practice on that one first. <laughs> but it's, um, we've never had carpet on it. It's all wooden. I just feel it, but we don't use those stairs as often either. They, and they, let me tell you, they are slick when you clean them. Okay, back to tra tracing that one more time, finishing it up because I did not get it the first time somehow. Okay. I don't know. I think I'll be able to um, sand the edges when we get done, <clears throat> but not quite as easily as, um, I used to use a lot of scrapbook paper on these. And this is just a little bit harder to sand off. Crap, that's the scissors that didn't work very well. We're still cutting. I'm trying to pay attention to my phone, which is at a very hard angle for me to look at, and then also my iPad, but they the messages disappear so fast on my iPad, so. And I'm trying to cut, so. You're wanting to stencil the floor of your front porch to look like tile. Oh, yes. See, I would love to do that on our concrete, but I just, I think our concrete porch is too rough. It was not a real great concrete pour, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you need to post pictures so we can see. Oh, are you talking to um, Beth or me? I've seen Beth's stairs. They look awesome. They really do. Okay. Oh, I love these colors. Okay. And I thought I was done cutting, but I'm not. And we'll see how, if I cut enough off. Let's hope I didn't cut off too much because I get on here yakking and it's hard to do it all. Okay, yeah, Beth. I think she has posted them somewhere. Man, maybe it was in the community. I can't remember now. But I have seen them. And they are awesome. So yes, she should share those puppies again. So yeah, I just really need to figure out what to do. What did, What's on the tops of your stairs, Beth? Do you have kind of a little carpet pad thingy or, or what? I don't think I, I don't think the tops of your I don't know I can't remember if I could even see what the tops of your stairs looked like oops okay good lord we might be finally having this thing cut out here and then we'll lay it out and see how far off it is okay we're getting there like arts and craft uh, crafts hour here, I think. Okay. I'm cautiously optimistic here. Okay, I think we're gonna roll with that. Let's get out the Mod Podge. Actually, my Mod Podge has been around a little bit. I'm going to put a little water in there to thin it just a little bit. The stairs are the thing I can share without fear of being hated. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's get this on here.
Okay, this ought to be plenty to get it covered. I might have got more water in there than I needed, but I think that's okay. Otherwise, it was going to be so stinking thick to get on here. Alrighty, let's get this on here. Woo! Alright. Just trying to make sure it's got a nice even coat everywhere. Especially the edges. Don't want them lifting. Okay. Let's put this baby on. Okay, that's upside down. There's a little something something there. And what's that? There's always something floating around in the air that likes to land on my stuff. And this stuff is pretty forgiving. You can move it around. Unlike some of the uh, tissue papers that will, you know, not so forgiving. So now I'm just getting it situated on here. That brook color looks really good with this. I don't know if I have a squeegee over here. Thanks for the hearts. Not sure who's doing it, but I thank you. Facebook likes it when we get hearts. So I appreciate that. They think we're doing something right and that and that people should see what we're doing. So Alrighty. Is Fusion coming out with more stuff? Mm, do you mean colors? Um, I think they had a couple oh metallics to come out yet but they were just a silver and a gold, I think. Um, oh shoot, that looks like I might have gotten that. Oh, well, maybe that's in the fabric. I don't know, with my stain all over my hands. Thank you guys for the hearts, I appreciate it. Um, Beth, they just came out, did you see the newest, the newest 11 that they had? They won't be having any anymore for quite a while, I doubt. Um, I don't see my squeegee, so I'm, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Oh, there it is. So otherwise, I'm just going to use a stick. So I'm just going to use my little squeegee and make sure that it's touching down everywhere. Like I said, you would not want to press this hard with um, tissue paper, regular tissue paper. I do think that is from my dirty little mitts. So, But it kind of blends in, right? And believe it or not, I did wash my hands before I came on, but... I need to use some mineral spirits. I'm going to get this a little dry if I can. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can sand off a little bit over here. It's harder to do when it's wet, so that's why I want to try to get it dry a little bit. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Okay. Thanks, Tammy. Oh, yeah, that is coming off nice. Okay. I'm a little shy there, but I don't think it's any big deal. Oops, I don't know where that nail came from. But Sometimes when you got a tight spot like this, a nail file works really good, but I don't have one right out here. Probably in my drawer, but I'm going to try to scuff that off there. There we go, good as new. Now you can't tell my my grubby mitts were on here. Okay, I am loving that. Um, I see just a little bit, and it all depends on the look you want. We could go through, I nailed it, <laughs> I love it. 
I could go around and I don't know what do we think should I just kind of leave it like this or should we take the sanding and distress the whole thing if I'm not going to distress the whole thing I need to touch up just a little spot right there I think where I did get into the paint just a little bit so um, and other than that we just have to seal it one more time with the Mod Podge. Leave it alone, Beth says. Okay, I'm going to go with the first dancer. So I will just go ahead and seal it now um, after I touch up that little hint of green or a little bit here. And you could even take the paint wasn't getting it where I wanted it. I'm still not sure. I don't think I have enough paint on my brush. That might be part of it. You could take this paint and go all the way around the outside edge if you wanted to with a tiny brush and give it a little, you know, color around the edge. Or you could do pink around the edge or whatever. Just an option. Just spitballing here. Let's see. Okay, there was just a little bit more there. You guys know me, I don't get too fancy here. Okay. Well, let's dry those two little spots and we'll seal it and we'll be good to go. Okay, I am loving this. So pretty. All because somebody checked on me last night to make sure that I was okay because they hadn't seen me live all week. <laughs> but I have got to find something and hop on here real quick, so. Here I am and I don't see her on here. <laughs> and that is just fine, she'll catch it later. I know she will. And this is just a crappy little chip brush. I don't like it, but it serves the purpose for what we're doing here. Thanks, Kathy. I like it too. I think it looks kind of... <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, I, I've just spent so much time in my private group and then trying to get ready for company. Oh, and I have a workshop coming out next week. So, yeah, I've just got a lot going on. So I haven't been able to hop on here much this week at all and right now I'm like uh, no makeup and staying off camera so but if I had to take the time to put on makeup I would not get on here today I'm sure it's kind of how I am about going live anyway if, if I had to be extremely ready have it which and I do try to get ready but uh, it's just not in my DNA to be that organized I guess Oh, and the cows. Um, don't think we've put the cows on lately, have we? I'm trying to think. The cows have been a little turds this week. Um, we had some of our freshly weaned calves get out. And by some, I mean, I thought there was 62, but that's how many we have total. And it ended up being, um, we had three left in the barn. Uh, the other morning. So what 58 59 of them were out roaming the neighborhood. So That took my husband and son most of yesterday to get them back Was that yesterday day before I think I don't know all the days run together Yeah, the calves those little turds ugh. I've Never had them get out before like that they figured out they got uh, the clip open. Little turds. That won't happen again. I'm pretty sure he wired it all shut now. Okay, let's dry this and finish this puppy up. I think I will hold it up now. And this is what we got. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to watch on my iPad and see what you're seeing. Isn't that pretty? I am a smitten kitten. 